Hello, welcome to Biograd TV. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. Biography of Levi Patrick Mwanawasa. Levi Patrick Mwanawasa was born on the 3rd of September 1948 in Mufulira, Northern Rhodesia, which is now Zambia. He had a law degree from the University of Zambia. From 1974 to 1978, he worked in private law firms before establishing his own firm, Mwanawasa and Company. In 1985, he was appointed as Solicitor General in the Zambian government. In 1989, he was head of the legal defense team for Lieutenant General Kriston Tembo, who the government of Kenneth Kaunda accused of conspiracy to overthrow the government, an act seen as treason and punishable by death. When Tembo won the case against the state, Mwanawasa's fame skyrocketed. So it came as no surprise when President Frederick Chiluba later appointed him as his vice in December 1991. Before the 1990 Convention of the Movement for Multi-Party Democracy MMD, many clamored for Mwanawasa to become the party's president. But he declined, saying he felt too young and inexperienced for the role. Instead, he chose to run as a member of parliament and won with an overwhelming majority of the popular vote. On the 8th of December 1991, Mwanawasa was involved in a serious traffic accident which claimed the life of his aide instantly. He suffered multiple body injuries and was flown to South Africa to receive medical treatment. He was hospitalized for about three months. The accident had a permanent effect on his speech, which became noticeably slurred. As the accident was thought to be an assassination attempt, a commission of inquiry was set up to investigate who was responsible for it. Mwanawasa remained vice president until 1994 when he resigned. Two years later in 1996, he unsuccessfully contested against Chiluba for the presidency of the Movement for Multi-Party Democracy. After his defeat, Mwanawasa retired from politics until the 2001 election. In August 2001, the National Executive Committee of MMD elected Mwanawasa as the presidential candidate of the party for the 2001 election. When the elections held on the 27th of December 2001, he won beating 10 other candidates including two other former vice presidents. In February 2002, Manawasa's government filed defamation charges against Fred Mimbe, the Zambia Post editor, and Deepak Patel, opposition lawmaker for an article in which Mimbe quoted Patel as calling Mwanawasa a cabbage, an obvious reference to Mwanawasa's injuries. However, in a move to promote national reconciliation, Mwanawasa appointed some opposition lawmakers to his cabinet in February 2003, including Deepak Patel as Minister of Trade, Commerce and Industry. In 2005, Mwanawasa was elected as president of the MMD for a second five-year term. He also ran for a second term in the presidential election of Zambia held on the 28th of September 2006. He won with 42.98% of the vote. He was sworn in for his second term in office on the 3rd of October 2006. Mwanawasa's anti-corruption drive made him a friend to foreign investors. During his presidency, Zambia got several foreign investments. His policies ensured lower inflation and spread some benefits to the poor. Tourists and white farmers changed their preference from Zimbabwe to Zambia, a move which helped the economy. Mwanawasa transformed the Zambian town of Livingstone, near Victoria Falls, into a tourist hub. His efforts led to Zambia receiving a relatively large amount of aid and debt relief. Generally, there was economic growth under Mwanawasa's government. 
In April 2006, Mwanawasa had a mild stroke. Again on the 29th of June 2008, he had another stroke while in Sham El Sheikh, Egypt, for an African Union summit. He was hospitalized there in Egypt and later flown to France on the 1st of July for further treatment. Being out of reach, his vice banda became acting president. From the time Mwanawasa was hospitalized in France, his health status became a much talked about issue. At one point, rumor came from South Africa that he had died. Thabo Mbeki, then president of South Africa, even went on to call for a moment of silence for Mwanawasa's death. But he quickly apologized when the news turned out to be false and prayed for Mwanawasa's recovery. All the while, acting president Banda kept reassuring the citizens that the president was in a stable condition and expressed hopes that he would fully recover. However, on the 18th of August 2008, Vice President Banda said Mwanawasa's condition had suddenly gone out of control and urgent medical intervention was needed. By the next day, a family member said that Mwanawasa had died in the morning of that day. Banda confirmed the news in the television broadcast and a 21-day national mourning period was declared. Mwanawasa was buried on the 3rd of September 2008, which was also his birthday. He would have been 60 on that day. Mwanawasa was married to Maureen Mwanawasa on his birthday on the 3rd of September 1988 and they remained married until his death. They had seven children between them. What have we missed out of this biography? Let's know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share and subscribe to our channel.